Today is an exciting day because we are leaving for Mystic and uh, we're going to be doing our uh, ride there um, starting off tomorrow on Sunday, riding to the eastern coast of Rhode Island and back. So it'll be 100 miles, but relatively flat. It's 945 and we're going to check out a place called Flanders uh, for donuts. Unfortunately, it did rain this morning. It was actually uh, pretty heavy rains, but now it has cleared up and we are ready to head out. Everything's fine. Shouldn't expect any more from this. The situation's in line. With every story that I heard of the burning bliss, and I So I got up around uh, 4.30 and uh, Jason's already getting ready so I figured um, I'd get up and just having breakfast now um, or I'm about to have my breakfast. I need, I definitely need coffee today. Uh, yeah, feeling feeling pretty good and excited about it. First thing I did was get my bike all loaded up and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. hopefully it provides uh, some sort of redemption for not being able to do the, the long ride that we missed in Maine Century ride to Rhode Island uh, from Mystic. So we're gonna go to the coast of Rhode Island. A beautiful morning, uh, nice and breezy, nice and cool. And the road here is still quiet. So looking forward to our adventure. So. What, how are you feeling right now, now that we're on the road? I'm like really excited. Uh, it's, it's beautiful so far this morning. It's, it's really nice to be out out here when um, it's nice and quiet. So ye yesterday we were walking around downtown Mystic and you know, it was pretty busy. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people out and about. And so far today, we're the only ones on the road pretty much. And it's, that's kind of what we like, so. This is, uh, this is nice and relaxing so far. Yeah, this is such a gorgeous morning right by the coast here. We're not doing a whole lot of climbing today, um, but I am so excited for this. I mean, check out the views. We got the sun rising in one side of us and we have just a few sailboats docked. Uh, just a great way to start a ride. So, really excited. So 
we hit a little bit of an obstacle here. There's a road closure. At first we thought, you know, we could probably just go around this part because, you know, we don't, we're not in a car or anything, but they have it pretty well blocked off with, um, with a cement barrier there. And then there's a fence that says, no trespassing, keep out. So we're debating whether or not to just go through it and see what happens or uh, um, or to adjust the route, but we're not really, it would be nice if they had a, a detour sign, you know, pointing us around this thing. Okay, it says keep out and no trespassing. <gasps> we have a really short, it's a really short section of the road that's closed and I don't really want to reroute us and do an extra 10 miles if we can just walk through this. I don't see why we won't be able to. But here's the road. It is rideable, walkable. It is under construction, so I could see that. Um, hopefully we don't come across anything like this again. Oh, there's a nice sound of a stream over here. Well, we're back in business here. It was, uh, like Joy said, it was a short stretch of road uh, that was blocked off. Jason's having issues with his derailleur again. Um, it looks like he he actually fell on the right side and drive side of his bike and he thinks he bent his derailleur again and so because of that we just did a climb and he was trying to shift to his 34 and the ch chain keep jumping. So um, this is going to be a fairly flat course so he's saying that he probably doesn't even need the 34. Um, he can do without it and he'll just stay with his 30. So yeah, we're at uh, mile 15 now and uh, we're here, it's about an hour. So we're gonna stop uh, here in the woods. Uh, Jason is coming up this road here momentarily. We'll take a look at his bike again and see if uh, there's something uh, else that's wrong with it because obviously we have a hundred miles. So. Technically, we actually have 85 miles to go, so that was fun. <laughs> so we're about an hour into our ride here, and as we were stopping here for a break, I got a little lazy unclipping, and I fell down to my right side. Um, it was a pretty, seemed like a pretty soft fall. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm not hurt at all, but I think I might have messed my derailleur up again because as we were... Um, starting a, a little climb here afterward it um the chain uh came off the the cassette when i was in the, the 34 the, you know the biggest uh cog and um the other ones seem to work it's just that whenever i go into the 34 the chain seems if i go into the 34 and i'm applying pressure to the pedals it seems like the chain pops off so um for now i'm just gonna keep going and just avoid using the 34. we still have a great ride ahead of us and fortunately you know my bike's not it's still usable just except for that one gear um so uh still looking forward to this ride i love the roads so far uh really enjoying the the roads are pretty smooth pretty flat and uh you know, nice and quiet so far. So it's, it's really been a, an enjoyable ride so far.
Jason's bike is making a couple of noises, um, even when he's in the big ring and going into his hardest gear, I could hear like a clicking sound when he's applying force, the pedal. Um, so there's a few gears that he can use that are still functional. I tried looking up the nearest bike shop. It's kind of out of the way, but we can still get there. It's just gonna be a pretty big detour. And they open at 10, and it's nine o'clock right now. So by, by the time we get there, it's probably gonna be open. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I'll be fine. You know, as long as... I think I'm fine. All right. I hope I'm fine. I, I think, so. based, based on what I've seen so far, I think I'm fine. Also, I want to point out that Rhode Island has really nice roads. I'm talking about wide roads uh, or paths for bike paths for cyclists to ride on. And we actually saw a big group ride um, coming in the opposite direction as we were. Uh, and they pretty much took up like, I mean, it was a good six feet width of um, space for us to ride on. So it was, it's awesome. Uh, and this road, uh, behind me is the South County Trail, and so that would be another uh, designated road for, for uh, riders. So. So I think I spoke too soon about um, having those wide uh, cycle paths uh, or bike lanes because we did wound up, we had like a full car lanes length of, of space to ride on, but it was like such a busy road and I got tired of it. So luckily we were able to get out of it and um, go on more quieter roads, which I prefer. I am starting to get chafing. Uh, I think there's a sh th there's these shorts that I have two pairs of and I never know which one is the better pair so I think I have the bad pair of the two but I think I'll be okay as long as uh, once in a while I'll get off the saddle uh, just to give my rear end a break. So we're uh, three hours into our ride and stopped here somewhere somewhere in Rhode Island not quite sure where but there's a lot of cyclists out here, which is good to see. And uh, yeah, most of the roads have a pretty good shoulder and um, you know, are in pretty good condition. So the riding has been pretty comfortable. And so far we've done a little over 46 miles. So we're not quite halfway there um, distance wise. So judging on, based on that, if, if we keep a similar pace the rest of the way, uh, probably take us around seven hours to finish of riding time. prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on to long and unresolved questions hold you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on well we reached our destination our turnaround point or it's also our it's about our halfway point of the ride. And look at this, it's, uh, it's quite relaxing out here. Don't even feel like we just did 50 miles. 
but but we did and uh, uh it's um it's it's 11 20 in the morning three hours and 16 minutes um it took us to get here riding time so we might actually finish this in less than seven hours if we keep the same pace going back which we probably could because I think we've done we've done 2,000 feet of climbing which is I, it's hardly anything for you know 50 miles but I think the total climbing for the route is like 4,000 something so it's not much climbing and um, so we've done about half of it so it probably will take us I'm guessing about the same amount of time to for the second half of the ride. Still so we're here at this uh, plaza. Uh, we're looking for water, basically. Um, we thought maybe there was an ice cream place that we could stop, not to have ice cream, but just to get water but we can't seem to find it. Hopefully um, Jason can get water because I am all out of water. Uh, we didn't really spend a whole lot of time at the beach because it was hot and there wasn't really much of a shelter uh, from the sun. So uh, update, Jason said that there was a pri private party going on and there are no wait staff. Okay, we'll find another place. Hopefully we can find some soon. Water. Yes. So uh, these are each two bottles. So uh, yeah. Two for me and we'll split. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks. On and on. I'm moving on. I think it was your pedal? Are you okay? Oh, because you have a that's because you're flat, that's why. Jason got a flat. It's all set now though. We have six more miles until we hit our we reach our uh, next fuel station, a gas station, and then after that, it's just riding back home. Oh, this road is busy. means we probably have about 25 miles left to go. Um, we had a couple of mishaps. Um, I had really bad um, cramps on my feet again so I had to take stop, take my shoes off and I also had some pains on my left knee and uh, kind of the same thing that's been bothering me in the past rides that we've done where we've it's been, um, well, we ride uh, for a longer time period. Um, so I had to stop to, to kind of ease my, to stretch my feet and kind of stretch my, um, or just kind of lay off my knee and sit down. Yeah, so as Joy mentioned, I, I got a flat on my front tire. And as I was coming to a stop to, you know, pulling over, coming to a stop to, so we could fix the flat, um, I fell off the bike and I don't really know what happened. It's kind of like I skidded and maybe, maybe it's because the combination of braking with a flat tire, uh, I skidded and, uh, and fell and, um, I'm okay, but you know, got, uh, just ha have some, 
some road rash on a couple places on the side of my my right knee my right hip and my right shoulder um, also feel like a little bit of pain in kind of my right side but i think it's just bruising um, so okay uh, the the thing that upset me the most about it is i uh i tore the i tore my uh my jersey and this is this is one of my favorite jerseys because it's these these packed emo jerseys are really you know nice and light and breathable i have another one of them but you know this one this was one of my favorites and uh now it's kind of uh kind of torn up um but i'm still gonna keep it maybe i'll just maybe i'll use it riding inside on zwift or something Holy cow. Hey guys, gals, I mean, ladies. Just finished up uh, with the nice shower. I am now refreshed and cleaned up. Oh, it was a great ride. And I just want to say that Rhode Island has great roads. And you saw those roads. You saw the lanes. They had bike lanes that were almost the same size as a car lane and as soon as we got into connecticut the bike lanes started to dwindle but then it get, it it widened up again um, as we got closer to mystic we never had any issues with people uh, motorists on the road um, and i think it's just because maybe they understand that how to drive around cyclists um, but I wanted to um, talk about the uh, overall uh, stats of the ride. So we wound up doing 105.38 miles. So it was initially supposed to be 103 miles. And uh, we took a couple of detours looking for water. Uh, so that kind of added to our mileage. So it wound up being 105.38. Oh boy, um, mostly flat roads. Um, coming back though, it was really hilly. Um, but our elevation gain was 5,307. And again, that was probably due to the more of the climbing um, coming back than going out. Uh, and yeah, we did it under seven hours, six hours and 49 uh, minutes. Okay, so um, we are gonna try to find dinner. Um, and bring it back to uh, the house and just eat here because I don't really feel like eating out. That's it for today's ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.